Hello and good day to everybody. What's up, you guys? This is IER Vibes Info Entertainment Reviews. If you're new, don't forget, hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoy. Always, please feel free to comment below. I always reply to everybody. So go ahead, shoot me some answers if you guys got questions, or just hit me up with some comments. I always read them, really appreciate all of you. And also, as always, thank you to all the supporters, as I always support everyone right back. Um, I don't just do uploading here on my channel. I always follow a lot of people who I am subscribed to and really enjoy. And of course, we got Dutch Sense and there's other forecasters who do earthquakes that I stay up to date with also. Um, the last couple of days, now I have been keeping tabs on what's going on. I've been busy with family and other things and projects as well. I got a couple projects going on here. But you guys, you see that 7.0 that had struck just the other day? Rocked. It freaking rocked. And it was just unbelievable. Now, they marked it over here with a 6.9, but it was officially a 7 magnitude earthquake. Um, as of since then, there's been a lot going on. Also, near the Dominican Republic, there was a big magnitude that had struck. Things are pretty well calm today. This is just right under 24 hours of earthquake activity. We're looking about maybe about 10 to 12 hours of seismic activity here. You're seeing all the tectonic plate system, which is what they're showing. That's not including the ones that are not listed. There are so many plates throughout our planet, you guys, that are not even shown. Um, I got to get that up to you here and bring this on the channel. You guys would be so blown away. Like, how is this planet staying together? It's unbelievable. But anyhow within the last few hours following by take a look at this 4.5 magnitude earthquake then we have Chile and Bolivia with a 4.8 5.2 magnitude earthquake falling into the Dominican Republic also look at this 2.5 another 2 magnitude uh, California just like uh, a couple other folks have been saying I even uh, checked out that sense to stay up but since I haven't been able to upload the last couple of days and he was talking about California as well and he's pretty much right on point just like I was even saying before and it's getting pretty freaking close you guys with all this earthquake activity hitting the west I mean just look at this now I did mention if it wasn't for all these quakes, even though the activity has even picked up since my last update, if it wasn't for all these 0.7s and 6s and so forth, you know how much pressure would be throughout that whole plate system, even the San Andreas? Because of those, that's actually releasing so much pressure throughout. But because of these numbers of on a, such a high scale every single day that just tells you how much these plates are seriously being pushed against one another so definitely want to take that in consideration and just try to vision you guys of exactly what is going on through this whole west coast including the San Andreas if it wasn't for those little tiny seismic earthquakes it'd probably be in a worse scenario than even what we're looking at I could just imagine the scale of seismic activity in the numbers range say for example California would probably be getting hit with multiple four magnitudes if not higher if it wasn't for those small earthquakes so definitely very interesting what's gonna happen for the next couple of weeks to come you guys it's gonna definitely be interesting um, so much going on not to throw us off the topic we got all this war stuff going on you guys which is that's just kind of like throwing my days off just a little bit um, a lot of people don't think it's gonna happen I'm not trying to throw us off this topic I know it's not to the earthquake but just to mention real quick you guys a lot of you out there know 
what's going on with this stupid North Korea deal. It's really ridiculous. The dude's an idiot. But, I mean, they are so seriously putting humanity at such a high risk level. It's just unbelievable. And in a worst scenario, no one's at least above our levels, and you know who I'm talking about, they're not realizing that they're going to be just as affected as we are. Um, there's enough on here, you guys, in each country to basically wipe this earth off of its existence, which is pretty scary. And, I don't know, I'll continue that into another topic. I'm going to do a video on that later on. But, let's continue on, going into Alaska. Take a look at this over here. Alaska's been getting hammered as well, but nothing major. It looks like the biggest one we have there is at 3.8 magnitude, very close to a 4.0, but tons of activity in under 24 hours. This is about 10 to 12 hours of activity, you guys, going on. Unbelievable. Japan, nothing too, too much, though we do have a 5.3. We've got a 4.5. And, of course, hitting right in that main plate system. Uh, Philippines, nothing going on in the Philippines. But, take a look here, New New Zealand, 5.2 magnitude earthquake. I need to take a look at what's been going on in Australia. While I have you guys here with me, um, we're going to go ahead and see what Australia's got going on. Because, of course, we all know that the USGS does not provide anything for seismic that's going on along in Australia. Indonesia, take a look, we got a 4.4 magnitude earthquake, and it looks like that is just about it for that area, you guys, the rest, Greece, Italy, all through here, very quiet, nothing going on, so, on that note, let's go on ahead, switch out the feet, we're going to take a look at Australia, and we're going to see what Australia has going on for their seismic activity. So bear with me a second, you guys. While I switch things out, we're going to look at a seven-day forecast for Australia. And this is for 5.0s and above. And let's go ahead and see if there's anything going on. So as I'm updating... Taking me a second here. Okay, so it looks like it is updating, but nothing for Australia within a five magnitude. So we're gonna go ahead and switch things around just a little bit. And hold on one second. Oh, wow. Apparently, I'm not getting the, um, the main geoscience for Australia. Uh, usually, I get from a zero magnitude all the way on up to the biggest magnitude, but the only one that's being provided to me at this minute is just 5.0s and above in a seven-day forecast. So, that's kind of different for a change on why that I'm not getting that. That's kind of weird. Um, let's go ahead and do a couple switch arounds here. Uh, let's see. Bear with me, you guys. I know Italy hasn't had much going on, but I really want to see what's happening in Australia. But again, they're not giving me any other option other than just 5.0s and above. That's kind of weird. Usually there is that list for zero magnitudes within a seven days. Not on here. It's not showing up. Um, anyhow, moving forward. I'll figure it out later on. I'll go to Australia's main seismic site later on because I'm going to bring you another update and we will check that out and see what's happening. But let me go ahead and do a quick refresh here and see what's going on in, within the last 30 days for throughout our globe using the USGS. So 
so let me update here. I know a lot of people have been having some internet issues and also I've been having issues a little bit with my internet. Um, a lot of people have been complaining about it, kind of weird. So I'm not even getting that also. I don't know what is going on you guys. And then the weather. Uh, I'm going to be doing a weather forecast later on today also. Uh, recently we had so much coverage literally covering up the whole United States in this weird weather anomaly. I know a lot of you have seen it. There's a lot of channels who just recently came out and put all this stuff out. And unreal. I don't know how to explain it. Very, very weird. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be bringing that on a board here later on today before I continue the next earthquake update. Now, going on, you guys, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the volcanic activity going on. All these here. I know I haven't done one of these yet for you guys. I've been wanting to. So since I already have you all here, we're already going through this. Let's go ahead and check this out. Um, right here, take a look. All this whole main plate system cutting through Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, going in through Indonesia. This is all nothing but volcanic territory. All this plate system. These are just the ones that are active right now. All current volcanoes. Unbelievable. Uh, so much, you guys, just happening is crazy. Uh, just as of right now, this very instant, here we go with this volcano here, which I want to go ahead and do some live feed. Uh, I might be broadcasting tomorrow, and we're going to be watching the live cams on live feed that they have pointed at multiple volcanoes as we speak right now and it's all live so it's really cool you get to see what's going on also kind of creepy thank goodness i'm not within those areas one thing i have to say i hate quakes and i do hate live volcanoes arizona itself is a landmine of dormant volcanoes but not all of them are dormant uh we'll get into that one later on as well so anyhow you guys as far as the main one erupting, we have this one here, and that is pretty much about it. I don't want to keep nobody too much. I have a lot to catch up on. So, I'm going to get back to the 7-day USGS and see what's happening. Um, in the last hour, go ahead and see if it's going to update for me. You can see right there. And what is the magnitude we are looking at? 4.5 magnitude earthquake, which is the one I just read off. And as well, the 2.8. And we have the 0 0.9. So just recently we saw that 0 0.8 magnitude, but now we have a 0 0.9. Kind of weird. So that is it, you guys. I really appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for the support. I know you've probably been wondering, where is Vibes at, man? Is he going to update? I got you guys. Don't worry. And I've been staying on top of it. I was trying to get that update to you when that 7.0 hit. Holy cow. Unbelievable. But that is it for now. Stay tuned for later on. Lots of love, you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, share. And if you haven't become part of the Vibes team, go ahead and hit that subscribe and become part of Vibes today. And never miss out on an update. Lots of love. And big shout out to all of the team members here. Really appreciate you guys so much. I will see you later on. This is IR Vibes Info Entertainment Reviews.